Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. This is for all singles out there um, who are currently looking for love or waiting for somebody to return. However the case may be that makes you single, this is for you. I will go by Zodiac, however, um, starting with Aries, ending with Pisces, and we will go down the list. So um, let's see what you guys got going on for the weekend in love. This is for singles. Um, this is just for your sun sign that I am pulling in since I'm pulling in so many energy or so many zodiacs at once. So this is for your sun, um, or I'm sorry, your sun or moon, sun or moon only. So, uh, I'll get one card per zodiac. We will start with Aries. What can our single Aries expect over this weekend? One card, please. Sun or moon signs. Aries. One card for January 4th through the 16th. And what you can expect. The Ten of Wands. All right, Taurus. What can our single Taurus expect for the weekend and love? Sun or moon sign Taurus. Thank you. The Four of Wands. Nice. Gemini. The Four of Pentacles. And our Cancers. Sun or Moon Cancer. Oops, this one, I, or these I dropped. You guys have the Chariot. I hope you guys can see those. Hopefully, I can adjust them after I get all the cards out. All right, Leos. One card for our Leos. Thank you. The Moon. Oh, that came out in your guys' uh, regular reading, too. All right. Virgos. One card for our Virgos. Single Virgos. Um, for those of you interested, this is the Tarot deck of Sexual Magic. All right. Vir single Virgos. You got the Seven of Cups. Libras. Thank you. You got the Lovers. And Scorpios, thank you. Empress, Empress. And for our Sagittarius, Sagittarius singles. You got the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, the Wheel. Whoa, when did those all fall out? I have no idea. Okay. And Aquarius. The Justice. And last but not least, Pisces. All right. The Stars. Your, the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. It was in the reverse, so um, some of you guys could be lacking the confidence to go after uh, a relationship that you want, lacking self-confidence, um, not seeing what other people see in you, which is an amazing, beautiful, fiery, passionate person. So um, some of you guys could be letting your self-confidence get in the way of uh, going after a relationship that you currently want. But our Aries, you guys have the Ten of Wands. In this deck, it is all about being all about somebody. Lots of fire, lots of passion. The, the most um, steamy passion that you can, <laughs> that you can come across um, with the Ten of Wands. This cycle is coming to an end with somebody that you spent a lot of, um, a lot of time, uh, you spent a lot of time with them, but your mind was on this person a lot. You're finally letting that go. You're releasing this X, this energy of this X, and you're moving forward and ready to uh, close that chapter and start a new one with somebody new. You are finally allowing that chapter to close um, within or with somebody from your past. And it is freeing up your energy enough to move on uh, to find a new relationship. And what card comes out? The Eight of Cups. You are definitely moving on from somebody that uh, you passionately had a lot of, well, just to put it blunt, there's a lot of sex, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of passion together, 
um, you are releasing that you are letting it go because you're emotionally drained and moving forward um, still in search of a little bit of healing before a new relationship will come into fruition. I do see you meeting somebody new within the next eight to 10 weeks, Aries. All right, Taurus, you guys have the four of wands. Um, somebody that you uh, are very connected to, uh, re reigniting an old flame. Uh, you're, yeah, this is somebody that you had a relationship with in the past. You uh, possibly were married to this person. But this love ended up being kind of a facade. It wasn't what you thought it was. Um, and you are also releasing that energy. Uh, you do have the emperor on the bottom of the deck. So I do see a fire sign coming in for you um, and connecting with you in the next uh, probably four weeks or four months for you, Taurus. You guys got some healing and some releasing to do from this relationship uh, and what it caused you in the past. Um, it caused a lot of hurt. For you, um, Tauruses. All right, Gemini, you guys are bored with somebody. You are um, could be sleeping with people just to have somebody to sleep with because you're single. Um, yeah, but you are going to you're you're just distracted. Uh, you could be with other people, uh, nothing serious, but your mind is constantly distracted from and and constantly on somebody that you walked away from. This is somebody that you walked away from, um, Gemini. You can't get your mind off them. Even if you are seeing other people, nothing serious. Um, yeah, your guys' bottom of the deck was the Six of Cups. So you will be reconnecting with a soulmate, Gemini, with uh, within the next uh, four weeks, four months uh, as well. So continue to... Um, to heal those emotional scars, single Geminis, because you will be uh, moving back towards your soulmate. You will be coming back in together um, very soon. Cancer, you guys have the chariot. You're sneaking off from somebody uh, the next morning with that, <laughs> trying to sneak out the door before they wake up. Um, this is somebody that you don't want to be in a committed relationship with, but you are sexually attracted to them, but you are sneaking away before they're waking up in the morning. Trying to sneak off uh, before they see you. Yeah, this could be with an earth sign because <clears throat> you know this earth sign is un unstable. You don't want a relationship with them. You just want to currently keep sleeping with them and sneaking away. This is very in and out energy. Nothing serious. Um, your bottom of the deck is sun. So you are going to move into your path and meet the person that you are <clears throat> meant to be with in this lifetime within the next... Um, uh, yeah, within this year, Cancer, you guys are meeting your life partner. Also, things that you did in the dark that you were trying to sneak away from, Cancer, they're also coming to light. They're being illuminated for somebody to find out um, about a, a partner you slept with and and kind of snuck away through the night. So just be cautious of that. Um, I don't see you guys wanting even to be in anything committed, uh, Cancer, for um, a little while now. So... Just, just remember that all connections we come into contact with does create a sense of karma, whether it's good or bad. So, all right, Leos. My, oh my goodness. Leo, Leo, Leo. You guys had the moon in your guys' regular weekend read. You had the moon come out in your single love reading, and now it's clarified by the moon. So, you guys are finding out information about somebody uh, that was keeping you secret, that was keeping secrets about you. Um, there is most definitely somebody you're connected to that is lying, that is keeping secrets from you, that has other partners. Um, you are going to get word of that. That is going to uh, become illuminated. It is going to come out and become public knowledge. And I do see you moving away from this energy, Leo, and you are newly single um, that is why you're showing up in this reading. You are breaking up with somebody, moving away, no longer putting up with their uh, secrets, their deceit. Um, somebody's coming forward. An air sign is going to come forward and tell you about uh, this person and what they are up to. Uh, because for a lot of you, you were unaware. Yeah, and the devil just flipped out while I was still talking. So toxicity to the, to the biggest degree, Leo. 
um, you are better off single right now. So continue to heal from the, the deceit that you have experienced. Your bottom of the deck, which is your outcome, uh, is the four of swords. So continue to heal the, your mind and heart from this heartache, and you will find the truth in this time of um, uh, separation uh, from all energy just to heal. Take the time for that before you get into another relationship, Leo, because there's a lot of emotional heartache here. All right, Virgos, you guys have the Seven of Cups. You guys have your mind on somebody else. Uh, you could be um, in separation from somebody, currently separated, uh, and they are sleeping with somebody else, or this is you, um, but you can't keep your mind off them. This is because this is your soulmate. Yeah, uh, they're emotionally unavailable at the moment, or you are. For the majority of you, Virgos, I feel that this is you. You could be um, entertaining another partner, but who you really want, who you're really meant to be with, you are in separation from. You're emotionally detached, emotionally unavailable. It's just sex to you if you are sleeping with somebody um, because you're not wanting to invest in anybody but that soulmate. But right now, you are separated from them. Um, your bottom of the deck is the Princess of Wands. So you are uh, disconnected from a fire sign who you feel is your soulmate. Um, you are going to get a message from them or you are sending a message uh, their way. But uh, I don't see this coming back into a soulmate connection for at least four to seven weeks. So the end of January, middle of February for you Virgos who are in separation right now. Um yeah, because you guys are just emotionally closed off from anybody. If you're out with anybody, it's it's there's no emotions involved. So, yeah, I do see you single for another month or two um, before you come back into a connection with that fire sign or anybody who has that fire sign energy. So, all right, Libras, you guys have the lovers. You are uh, not committed to anybody, but you are entertaining two different people. Um, neither one of them you are in a, a serious commitment with. Um, Libra. Oops. All right. So you are going to make a choice to come out of being single. Um, you're no longer going to split your energy between these two people. You are deciding which one you want to invest your time, your emotions, and your love in. And um, this weekend, you are making somebody an offer, making a choice, deciding to only uh, only give your energy out to one other person and then are offering them a commitment. So Li Libras, you will not be single long. I do see you this weekend making a choice of who you would like to be with. All right, Scorpios, you got the Empress. Um, you are working on yourself. You could have been the mistress. Um, you know, you're good looking, you know, people want you and you are just enjoying this time of being single. You are working on yourself. You are not worried about, uh, finding love. You are not worried about love finding you because you know, you look great. Um, and you are enjoying being single. It is clarified with the seven of cups. So, you know, you are in separation from your soulmate, you know, they're returning. So in the meantime, you are just, uh, Sitting there looking great, working on yourself. Um, you could be uh, narrowing down your options because there's a lot of options for you. But right now, you are just clearly enjoying the time of being single. Um, before you uh, move into this Four of Wands relationship, you're just waiting for a partner to eliminate their options as well. So in the meantime, you're just being you, being awesome, creating a new life for yourself. Uh, not worried whether that person's coming back or not because you know they're going to come back and offer you a commitment. So you are just chilling. All right, Sagittarius, you have the Two of Pentacles. So um, you're trying to uh, decide where to invest your energy. You're trying to decide whether or not to, uh, to move forward. You could be waiting on a message from a, uh, a earth sign. But right now, you are not even wanting to entertain anybody. You uh, just got out of a third-party situation where somebody was juggling you. Now, people want your attention, and you just don't even want to give your attention to anybody. You're staying single because you want to be to work on yourself, to heal your mind, body, and soul, to figure out the truth, to figure out where you want to go from here, and, um, and not wanting to invest 
um, with anybody right now. You, uh, Sagittarius, are remaining single after getting out of a third party where you were the third party, and you're just going to heal um, for the time being. You are okay being single, um, and you are waiting to hear from an earth sign uh, that possibly you were in that third, you were the third party in. All right. Our Capricorns have the wheel. Delay is over. Good luck is coming your way. Uh, you were waiting for somebody. You were also a third party. You were waiting for somebody to become single. The wait is over. I do see because the wheel is in the upright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see, I got cards flying everywhere. Um, let's try this again. Why is the wheel here for Capricorn? So uh, you single Capricorns, you, uh, wow, you in the time of being single have just really, um, you have the confidence, you have the looks, you have what it takes for this person to come back and make you an offer. Um, with the wheel in the upright, the delay is over and an offer will be coming to you in the next 10 days for you, uh, uh, Capricorn. The bottom of your deck is also the Ten of Pentacles, two tens coming to the end of a cycle, coming to the end of being single um, and moving into an abundant life with a life partner, soulmate, twin flame, whoever is here for you. This is for life. Um, and with the wheel and the upright, it's going to be a beautiful relationship. You will not be single much longer, Capricorns. Um, you guys will uh, within next 10 days hear from this person that you have been waiting on. All right, Aquarius, you have justice, finding balance, uh, moving away from a situation that threw you out of balance, uh, getting divorced from a partner who did not, uh, who did not appreciate you. Let's see why is justice here for our single Aquarius. Yeah, you gave up the fight. You um, decided to become single, decided to get a divorce from this person. It was unfair. You were treated unfair. Um, within the marriage, uh, with the four wands here, you were treated unfairly. Uh, it was not a balanced relationship. You sought justice, um, and you decided to no longer fight for this relationship. In turn, by uh, balancing out the karmic scales, you do have a commitment coming your way. Within the next four weeks, four months, you will meet somebody who will propose to you as well, and uh, and this will be a partner that will treat you much better than the relationship you got out of. All right, last but not least, Pisces, you got the stars. Wish is coming true. Divine timing is here. You are single but won't be single for much longer. Um, you, you are getting the one that you have been waiting for, wishing for, um, most definitely. Yeah, the two of wands. So uh, this person is on their way to you. This is waiting for this person to return. You, um, yeah, you could be waiting on a Capricorn here with the devil, but you are also waiting for this person to get out of a relationship they are bonded to, whether it be through a marriage or, um, codependency, however it is, they're bonded to somebody else. You are currently waiting for them to get out of this relationship with the two of wands, but they are coming to you on your path. They will meet up with you very soon and your wishes will come true and you will not be single much longer. Um, very beautiful energy. They just have to get out of, yeah, right underneath that is temperance. I knew that was going to be next. This is a twin flame for you guys. Um, they are in a, a karmic relationship, but they are finding the courage to break free from that. Archangel Michael is here to bless your union and you will not be single much longer. Within the next two months, this person will come forward and try uh, try to move forward and make plans with you, um, whether you decide to give them another chance or not, um, which I do see for you guys, you will, because this is most definitely your wish come true. Um, so continue to heal, continue to work hard, and they will return. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys liked a real quick rundown of uh, what you singles have to look forward to in the next um, however long. So a lot of you have relationships coming towards you. A lot of you um, are enjoying being single and some of you are just wanting to heal and, um, and go it alone for right now. All are okay. And the person that is meant for you will come to you in the right time. So have faith, um, have confidence in yourself 
and love will find you when it is time. So I wish you guys all love, light, and God bless.